who is like unto our God? Who is like unto our God? Our Lord, our Savior, and our King. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. Great and faithful is the Holy One of Israel. The Lord God Almighty. He is awesome in this place. He is worthy of all praise. To Him our lives we raise. He is awesome in this place. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is His name. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Hallelujah. Good morning, Holy Spirit of God, and welcome. Welcome into our presence. Welcome into our day. Welcome into our way. Have thine own way, O Holy Spirit of God. All of you and none of us. Is there anything too hard for you, O God? Is there anything too hard? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to our King. Lord, you are great and you are almighty. All honor to you, O King. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Great and faithful is our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How great is our God. How great is his name. He is the greatest one. Forever the same. He rolls back the waters from the mighty Red Sea. He says, I'll lead you. Won't you trust in me? Hallelujah. Oh, what a God. What a God. What a God. What a God. Hallelujah. We praise you, O Holy One of Israel. We praise you this day for you are awesome in this place. We praise you because you are our Jehovah Rapha, the Lord who heals. You are our Jehovah Jireh, the Lord who provides for us. You are our Jehovah Shalom. You give us peace peace that passeth all understanding not as men give do you give us peace O god but as you lord god who cannot be compared to anyone else so you give us peace hallelujah 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 blessed be the name of the most high god hallelujah 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 so holy spirit we just invite you to just take full control of every element and aspect of this fourth watch hour this fourth watch family we thank you lord god almighty for the fourth watch arrows internet family we thank you oh gracious wonderful god for the facebook uh, fourth watch family for the instagram fourth watch family and for the tiktok fourth watch family this is the watch of the morning when the lord comes to bring deliverance when he comes to bring healing when he comes to bring restoration when he comes to bring peace when he comes to bring joy it is prophetic wednesday and our family has gathered hallelujah the early risers are here and ready to worship ready to go ready to do and ready to be for god's good pleasure hallelujah 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 blessed be the name of the lord most high and so I greet you in the mighty and matchless name of the Lord Jesus Christ on behalf of Pastor Marsha Wade. I am truly honored to be here with you this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A little on the tired side, if I were to be honest, because you know how the construction thing goes from early in the morning. Normally, I would get to, to, to go back. We would get to go back to rest after fourth watch and then rise up to go do some stuff during the day but um with the construction going on and we have a timeline that we want to get it sorted out by hallelujah we have to be um on the road early and the rest is not as it used to be so from 4 a.m in the morning until sometimes 10 30 11 at night we're going so please keep us in your prayers keep us in your prayers um because we still have to press through to get this part out of the way so that we can continue to press towards the mark of serving God's people, expanding his kingdom, bringing into the kingdom of God such as ought to be saved and teaching and maturing the saints because that's why we are here to help the poor, the widow, the orphans and to strengthen the brethren in the name of Jesus Christ. Our tasks are clear. Uh, but without the strength of God because we cannot do it by might or by power it is only by his spirit amen and so prayer is vital prayer is vital 
when we are doing stuff by the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. And so it is Prophetic Wednesday and we're asking the Lord to prophetically speak into every situation and circumstance uh, and that we might have. And so I speak prophetically even now into your day, into your way into all that is going on in your life i speak prophetically uh, when i greet each and every one of you all the leaders that are here all the uh, the pastors the, the apostles the prophets the preachers the teachers and all the future hallelujah pastors apostles prophets teachers evangelists ministers deacons elders all of you are future leaders as we said yesterday the holy spirit was making the point clear that each of us are leaders in our own right and this needs to be established come on this needs to be established and this is what god wants us to do let me just um, also say in the best and most loving and kind way that i can say it uh, guys we are not slaves to any agenda we're not slaves to any agenda we work according to the agenda of the holy spirit so i beg of you uh, when the holy spirit says uh, this week this month uh, these next three months is just prayer 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 just tear down tear down tear down tear down pray aggressively pray hard pray 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 that's what we do uh, at, at different intervals the Holy Spirit might say okay encourage the brethren because yes they're getting the prayer and the prayer is working but they don't understand certain things and so encourage them or talk to them about certain things and so please do not get into uh, this is not church it's devotional time and so it is it is fluid and it, uh, it works according to, to different things. So we might be focusing uh, by the Holy Spirit on one thing this week or today or tomorrow and then another thing the, the other time. And so I beg of you with every love that I can muster and every encouragement and inspiration that I can muster, do not uh, allow anything to tell you that the, the devotional time is supposed to be one thing or the other. It is in the hands of the Holy Spirit and he guides whichever way he should go okay um, I, I often very very often more often than not come with a plan I have my stuff laid out and I have a plan of what I'm gonna do and but I'm I every time I sit down and I say good morning and welcome family the Holy Spirit gets full control to do what he wants and so I beg of you as, as a family member, uh, don't get caught up in um, becoming a slave to anything, even that which is good, because that which is good unto God, God can still do greater, better, and even more. Remember that uh, Moses had a relationship with God. He used to visit with God, talk to God, face to face. And even in that relationship that they were that they had, that would seem like, wow, this is just so amazing and awesome. Moses knew that there was more in God. There was diversity in God. There, were, there was more expansion, increase, enlargement in God. And so he said, Father, show me your glory. Show me your glory. After all, most of us as people of God would have been satisfied with what Moses was experiencing. If we got that, we would have been satisfied with that level of relationship, that level of interaction, that level of anointing and power. We would have been satisfied. But yet, Moses said, I will not settle. Show me your glory. And so there is diversity in God. And so no matter what it is, we must always know that there is diversity in God. God. Nothing is one way all the time. Not even prayer, not even worship. Uh, because sometimes he will say, don't pray, just worship, just worship. Sometimes he'll say, don't worship, just speak, declare what I am saying. Okay? Bless God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. 
what a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. And so, Father, we just thank you for this morning. We thank you for your goodness and mercy towards us. We thank you for your love. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that your good hand is upon us to keep us from harm and danger, from every plan, scheme, and trap of the enemy. Lord, I lift up the Fourth Watch family before you this morning. I lift up Pastor Noel and Juliet Campbell. I lift up the, the Arrows Internet Radio family at the Fourth Watch. I lift up the Facebook family at Fourth Watch, the Instagram family at Fourth Watch, and the TikTok family at Fourth Watch. I lift up the YouTube family at Fourth Watch. Every member of our family that has that are connected by the bloodline of the Lord Jesus Christ. I lift them up this morning and I say, Father, have your way in and through each and every one of them. Touch, O oh God Almighty. Let your fire visit their family line this morning. Visit their homes. Visit them in an uncommon way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let your will and your will only be done in and through each and every one of them in the name of Jesus. Father, send your angels right now to touch, to wake up, to shake our oh God Almighty, those who the spirit of slumber has come upon and caused them not to be able to wake up. Father, we cancel every assignment of the enemy that has come against us in our dream. Those who the enemy has, 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 has caused to see in a vision or in your dream that you were in a casket or you were dead or you were hurt or you were in an accident or that anything at all uh, un untimely or unsavory will happen to you. I cancel that in, an, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I cancel every bad dream. I cancel every demonic attack in your dream. I cancel every injection and infection that the enemy has put into your body, soul or spirit in your dream in the name of Jesus Christ. I cancel every sickness will contact in your dream in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I prophesy that you are cleansed that you are purified that you are sanctified that you are whole that you are the anointed of God you are the blessed and highly favored of God I release the fire of God into your house right now every demonic activity taking place in your house in your business place in your workplace I cancel them by fire everything that is stopping you from prospering from progressing from having peace at home from sleeping well at home i uproot it by fire this morning in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth and i declare that you are blessed and highly favored the peace of the lord is in your house in your office in your business place in the name of jesus i release prosperity and good success i prophesy prosperity and good success into your business place into your family into your marriage into your life your personal life into your finances into your health i prophesy prosperity and good success in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth lord according to your word to joshua you said if he meditates upon your word day and night and be faithful to do what your word says then he will prosper and have good success lord we have been our uh, religiously consistently persistently meditating upon your word rhema and logos day and night and so god almighty we call forth from the heavens like elijah called fire oh ha saho shaha mahe wule uha he hu si he ha 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 ho hukoro woku shaha mekureba yekereba yedeba hu jereba hai lord jesus christ of nazareth we call forth fire from heaven into every household this morning we call forth your power we call forth your glory Come forth in the households of your people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every demonic assignment against the house of your people, against the lives of your people. Every demon that has infiltrated as boyfriend or girlfriend that has come into the houses of your people, O oh God, and have taken set every gun just smoking, every illegal, immoral, disgusting spirit that has come into your people's households, live next door or on top of or beneath. God Almighty, we uproot them by fire. We declare that this community is one of righteousness, holiness, and truth. Lord, let the fire of your Holy Spirit, let the warring sword of your angels drive out every human and demonic spirit that is against the will and purpose of you for your people in the name of jesus 
every unsavory relationship, spiritual or natural. God Almighty, that is not ordained by you. We cut it off this morning with the sword of the Spirit. We cut you off. We cut you off and we declare no more connection to any umbilical cord that causes stress, that causes depression, that causes oppression, that causes thoughts of suicide, that causes thoughts of low self-esteem or low self-worth, that causes thoughts of quit or give up. We cut you loose from those connections now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every frustration spirit receive fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I send you to Hanover. I send you to Westmoreland. I send you to Negril. I send you to Clarendon, to St. Elizabeth. I send you to every parish in Jamaica and every county, Cornwall, Middlesex and Surrey. I send you to America. I send you to China. I send you to Aruba. I send you to Trinidad and Tobago. I send you to Australia. I send you to England. I send you, hallelujah, <coughs> to all the countries of the world. I send you to Israel. I send you to Canada. I send you right now, fire of God, to every corner and crevice, to every space and place of the people of God. And I declare war against every demonic assignment, every demonic force working against God's people. I send the fire of God, the fire of God, the fire of God against you this morning. And I uproot you. I uproot you and send you back to the abyss in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our shots will not miss. Po, 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 po. We send the bullets of fire. <coughs> We send bullets of fire to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Bullets of fire, bullets of fire, bullets of fire. You cannot stop it. You cannot stop it. You cannot delay it or derail it or deny it. We send bullets of fire to you now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we declare that the goodness of the Lord is our portion. The blessings of the Lord that make rich and add no sorrow is our portion. Now, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we ask you even now, search every governmental official, search every household, search every place and every season in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Search and uproot, search and uproot in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that every member of this Fort Watch family is blessed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <coughs> every member of this Fort Watch family, family has the fire of God under their feet, the fire of God in our hands, the fire of God in our mouths. And as we speak, O oh God Almighty, healing comes, deliverance comes, fire comes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, that the baptism of the Holy Spirit with fire is upon each and every member of this family right now, right now, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I release the anointing of God upon you. I release the presence of God in your space right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. I release open heavens. I release the anointing and power. I release the oil of the Spirit of the living God. I release fire in your hands and fire in your feet. I release the fire of God in your mouth. I declare that as you speak in your atmosphere, as you speak in your house, as you speak in your workplace, as you speak in the gym or on the jogging track or wherever you're exercising, as you speak in the atmosphere, as you speak into the heavens and as you speak principalities and powers, spiritual wickedness in high places will be torn down now, now, now. Come on, speak concerning your circumstances. Call for that which is not as though it were, for this is a prophetic atmosphere on this prophetic Wednesday. But our God is calling you to speak that which he has said. His word must be put to the test. His word must be challenged. His word must be challenged. If we challenge his word by faith, we shall be in a different state. Come on, glory to God. God wants to change our circumstances, but he does not want to change it through just any arbitrary person situation or circumstances God wants us to grow to mature to become the leader that he desires for us to be that's why he took so much time to speak to us about leadership to speak to us about authority to speak to us about the power that is in us 
by the Holy Ghost. And so today, having learned that we are leaders, having learned that we have authority, having learned that we have power by the Holy Ghost, and as long as we are led by the Holy Spirit, nothing shall be impossible for us. I declare today that my house is cleansed and purified, that the presence of the living God, come on, come on, come on, come on, speak into your house, speak into your finances, speak into your situations. Come on, we're praying together, we're declaring together, we're canceling cramping and paralyzing together we are anointed together we are leaders together come on hallelujah I am leading you as I follow Christ. Come on, speak into your situations. Speak to your children. Command your children to be mighty men and women of God. Come on, do it now, people of God. Come on, you're in that place and space of faith. You're in that space and place of a leader. You're the leader over your family, the leader of your children, the leader of your ministry, the leader in your space and place, in your community. There is no other leader beside you. There might be others like you, but there is none above you. Come on, you are a champion leader. Speak to your community. Is your community crime free? Is your community blessed? Is your community uh, uh, walk, uh, doing what God wants? Is your community run by Christian leadership? Is your community filled with people who love each other? If not, declare it in the mighty name of Jesus. Are your children saved? Is your, are you married and are, are not would you like to be? Is your marriage perfect? Is your marriage wonderful? Speak this morning in the name of Jesus. Come on, we're prophesying. We are taking on the spirit of prophecy this morning and we are prophesying into our situations. Is your house tormented? Is your life tormented? What's going on? Are you seeing financial issues? Every time you get money, it just go. Where you want to do some stuff, but you can't because things are not lining up. Speak to them now this morning by this prophetic atmosphere and commanded to line up come on i'm giving you hints there are things that i may not know about you or your situation speak it in the atmosphere this morning there is a prophetic grace a prophetic grace a prophetic grace in your atmosphere this morning come on speak to your husband and command him to be more helpful around the house if by his spirit not in the natural come on husband i command you in the name of jesus christ to be more helpful more supportive more communicative more blessed and highly favored in the house that the wife you have shall call you lord come on wives i command you hallelujah in the name of jesus by your soul by your spirit to be more uh, uh, appreciative more understanding hallelujah less aggressive less commanding in the name of jesus christ whatever it is speak to it this day in the name of jesus it shall be so father i pray that you will release a fresh move of your spirit upon every person that is under the sound of my voice that they will speak to their situations and see change that they will speak oh god almighty and see it established lord you have said that you have given us power you have given us power you have given us power therefore anything that come against us comes against you anything that come against our spirit come against you and so god we declare this morning that we are mighty through you to the pulling down of every stronghold everything that come against us every principality every powers every spiritual wickedness in high places everything that raises itself against the knowledge of the lord jesus christ and his authority we command you to fall to the ground and die go back to the abyss from whence you came be dissipate be destroyed by fire now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth for the people of god shall flourish shall prosper shall be in good health even as their souls prosper at the sound of my voice manifestation of the holy spirit is upon the people of god angelic hosts have been dispatched to war on behalf of the people of God. Your angels are in your house right now, swinging swords in your bathroom, in your living room, in your dining room, in all of your cupboards, under your bed. Angels are warring and cutting out and sending demonic forces packing right now everything that has entered your life your house your your marriage your ministry your finances your health we declare war against them this morning in the name of jesus i prophesy that a shift shall come to your circumstances right now a shift to your health a shift in your finances a shift to your blessing a shift to your mindset a shift to your soul hallelujah in the name of jesus christ no more lukewarm spirit no more 
lukewarm spirit no more spirit of fear no more spirit of doubt or unbelief no more spirit of separation and division in your house no more spirit of rebellion in your house to your children or to your spouse we command those unclean spirits uproot and go now spirit of pride spirit of fear uproot and go now i speak to you by the authority of the lord jesus christ of nazareth and any house that my voice is going into any space any place any time and any season that my voice is going into right now i command everything that is demonic as my voice reaches it reverberates through your space and through your place and commands demons and devils to uproot and run uproot and go now 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 in the name of jesus christ of nazareth I break every chain that has been around God's people. I sever every handcuff. I, I clear like, like the angel said to Peter, rise up and put on your clothes and your sandals and let's go. And as Peter rose up, everything that held him down broke off of him. I declare that you must rise up this morning. Wherever you are, if you are sitting down, rise up like Peter. Rise up like Peter. Come on. Prophetically make a move. Change your position. Hallelujah change your position like Peter I can't change mine too much because I'm on screen but change your position just rise up by faith get up out of the bed stand up on the ground you don't have to go far you don't have to run around and do anything too aggressive but I'm saying to you as a prophetic move this day rise up like the angel told Peter to rise up come on people of God by faith remember we're a faith ministry we're a acts of the apostles ministry what we see in acts we do in acts in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and so jump up from the space where you are if you're at work already come on get up from your desk get up and spin around and say Lord I thank you that I am free from every chain I am free from every shackle come on some of you are having some family issues burdens of the family burdens the shackles of our family issues ah come on you got to throw that off this morning the angel is standing there with you not one but two one at your right and one at your left and they are waiting on you to rise up that they can tear off the shackles that have held you back some of you are shackled by singleness that the, 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 your, your 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 generational curse of broken marriages your generational curse of single can't find any husband or any wife Life. those are curses that's not of God but this morning the Lord God Almighty wants to lift you up and to take those shackles off of you to put a new robe on you that you will be seen by your future spouse that you'll be seen again by your current spouse in a different way come on somebody you got to believe God this morning you got to start to dance the shackle of sickness and disease is coming off of you this morning as you stand up by faith as you move by faith the shackle of sickness the shackle of downcast the shackle of depression the shackle of oppression is falling off of you this morning and a new robe is being placed upon your angels of the most high god guardian angels to every person that is on this morning Re dispatch release for your people release for god's people release for god's people and set them free set them free and put a new robe upon them a new shoe upon their feet a new helmet upon their head a new breastplate around their chest a new belt around their waist in the name of Jesus give us new shield this morning a new sword this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth war wage war wage war Holy Spirit upon the people hallelujah that come against God's people in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth hallelujah hallelujah what a mighty God we serve what a glorious wonderful God there is a shift in your atmosphere right now I feel the warmth right now when we started to pray the enemy didn't want me to pray this way he didn't want me to go down this road and so he was grabbing onto my throat trying to stop me trying to discourage me but I can feel the coolness of the atmosphere this morning in the name of Jesus a shift has taken place in your house in your space in your place wherever you are whatever platform you are on a shift has taken place this morning in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Come on, do you believe by faith that a shift has taken place in your house, in your space? A shift has taken place and change has come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we cancel every assignment against the enemy to keep your people away. Every assignment against data, against Wi-Fi. We block that now. We destroy that now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We declare that there shall be no delay or derailment of your word getting to your people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth hallelujah father we just want to lift up some persons especially before you this morning in this time of prayer we lift up sister shereen who is having a birthday today but she says she wants her birthday gift to be prayer for her son adian adian hallelujah who is going through cyber bullying father there is so many things that are happening to our children in this time the demonic forces have launched attacks uh, towards children and even through certain children into others in the name of jesus and so uh, uh, adia adian Adian, Father, we lift up Adian before you this morning. Uh, this, this woman of God is so special. She loves her son so much that she's willing to sacrifice her birthday present, her birthday greeting, her birthday blessing for him. And that's, how, that's what you mean when you said we should love the Lord thy God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength and love our neighbor as ourselves. Our neighbor is our children as well. Hallelujah. So, Father, we just lift up Adian before you this morning. And we declare that Adian is blessed and highly favored. That he's a mighty man of valor. A man of God. <coughs> we declare that Adian is blessed. He's highly favored. Hallelujah. And, Lord, as his mother offers up her birthday present to him, a blessing, I speak over Adian. I speak confidence. I speak courage. I speak boldness. Father, Joseph's brothers bullied him and wanted him to, to, to back up and to do what they want and to say what they want. But he stood his ground and he uh, became prime minister. I thank you that Adian shall become great, shall do great and mighty things. I thank you that all those who are bullying him shall respect him, shall know, hallelujah, that the word of God is true, that says, that Adian's enemies shall become his footstool. I declare that they are his footstool now in the realm of the spirit. <coughs> in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I thank you, Lord, that it is well with Adian in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, I pray that you will bless Shireen continually oh father god as she celebrates her birthday we pray god that you will uplift her that you'll strengthen her that you'll cause her to improve and to increase even as a great mother and a great friend i thank you lord god almighty that she's blessed to be a blessing to her family and to everyone that she comes in contact with let her cause her to have a wonderful day of celebration for her birthday in the name of jesus christ of nazareth lord brother gregory has reached out and has asked for prayer hallelujah father i just pray you know what's going on with gregory you know what gregory's issues are fear pride unbelief doubt whatever it is god almighty anything that is happening in gregory's life that is causing him to be in a state of flux in a state of uncertainty in a state like the sea that comes in and goes out hallelujah father anything that caused gregory to not be able to receive from you we cut him loose from it today and we declare that like peter freedom has come to gregory's life freedom freedom i speak freedom i speak restoration i speak strength i speak the spirit of david the king over you today gregory that you will slay the goliath that is trying to keep you down and cause you to flourish cause you not to flourish i speak flourish i speak increase over you today Gregory, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we lift up Dominique Jarry. Father, we have had this young man before you for over a year now. Over a year now, Lord. And we will not let you go until you bless Dominique Jarrett. We will not let you go, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. By your Holy Spirit, we will not let you go until that favor 
until the favor of God is seen upon Dominic Jarrett. Lord, the enemy desires to sift him as wheat. He desires to discourage him. Lord, he's going through a difficult time now where he's finding it hard to even pray. He's finding it hard to believe that you are God, having seen you so many times in so many different ways as he was growing up. But with what has happened in his family and what is now happening with his schooling and what has happened to his mind, God, he is wondering if he's being punished or if he's if he's forsaken by you. But this morning, oh God Almighty, we come against every plan and every attack of the enemy against the minds of our children. We come against schizophrenia. We come against uh, any kind of mental illness and mental distortion we come against any kind of impact of smoking or any kind of drug or secondhand drug from anywhere else in the name of Jesus. We come against anything that demons and devils have injected into our children that has caused them to not be acting or speaking or thinking in the way that they should in the mighty name of Jesus. We come against them in the name of Jesus. We come against chemical imbalance. We come against any form of, 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 of neurological, a psychological damage in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we uproot everything that is coming against our children today in the name of Jesus Lord I prophesy that our children are the seed of the righteous our children are blessed our children oh God fall in the category of those who you said that if they any harm should come to any one of these that they should be a, a millstone tied around their necks and they be cast in the sea Lord we declare that your word cannot return void and so God Almighty Jahan Jeremy Dominique and all the other children, the other sons and daughters in this family, we declare this morning that every demon and devil, every human spirit, every witch and warlock that has come against our children with the hope of changing our prayer life with the hope of, with the hope of depressing us with the hope of causing us not to flourish and prosper every every sexual unsavory spirit that wants to come against our children every devil oh god almighty that has been released against our children we declare a millstone a spiritual millstone around their necks this morning and they be cast in the sea of forgetfulness they be cast into the uttermost darkness the uttermost pit never to return i declare our children free like peter was free from the prison i declare our children free like paul and silas was free from the dungeon i declare our children set free like goliath's head was set free from his body in the name of jesus lord god almighty let our words be like david's sword this morning to sever the head of the giant that has been standing on our children in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God Almighty, even those who desire to have children but don't have any children yet, that's a Goliath standing on the womb of your people, or uh, on the sperm of your sons. And so God, I cut them off from your people this morning and I declare that not only shall they bring forth children, but they shall bring forth righteous seed in the name of Jesus Christ. Kadia, I call forth your womb to produce now, 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 now in the mighty name of Jesus. I call forth husbands to come and wives to come and I call forth fertile wombs. You shall not be too old to have your dream child or children in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, if you don't do it, who else can? I can speak, but you have to act. I can declare, but you have to make it happen. I can ask and you have to answer. And so God Almighty, as your servant, as your son in the earth in this season, I ask you, Lord God Almighty, to visit the lives of your people, visit the wombs of those who are barren, O oh God, or being delayed by demonic oppression, visit the children that have come forth out of these wombs, and God, they are righteous seed, righteous people according to your will, but their seed are not acting like righteous seed. Father, we cut them loose from every mindset that would want them to not be righteous in the name of Jesus Christ, and we declare, God Almighty, that nothing shall stop us from becoming who you have called us to be. Every spiritual barrenness and every natural barrenness we uproot you by fire and we declare that you must go right now. Every person that is having difficulty with their relationship with you Lord. Everyone that is saying God I don't feel close to you. I need more of my spiritual life. 
I need to grow more, to expand more, to increase more. Father, I ask you to remove the blinders, remove the curtains, remove the veils from their eyes that they will see that if the only time they spend with you is in this fourth watch hour, they are still growing and expanding and enlarging by your spirit. Ah, God Almighty, draw them close to you. Draw them nigh unto you that they might recognize that because your spirit is in each and every one of us god there can be no separation there can be no ex ex uh, nothing that can keep us from your glory we thank you lord god almighty that every person that desires more of you in this season is receiving an intimacy connection even now liquid love pouring into their hearts even now in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth lord god almighty you know what your sister Dan your daughter donna has asked for oh god almighty Father, we thank you that the husband has been released. The blessings have been released. Protection for her daughter has been released in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that favor in her finances, favor at work, favor, O oh God Almighty, in every area of Donna's life is manifesting right now. We speak it and we declare it, God Almighty, as she has stepped out by faith and has, has done what she feels you have called her to do. May your hand of righteousness holiness and truth minister into every area of donna's life as of today in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah father we speak healing right now to everyone that is sick every person that has done a surgery and that are recovering like rachel father god we speak healing and restoration to their bodies oh god wherever they have been they have been hurt god almighty we speak restoration whatever uh procedure has been performed or is to be performed we speak miraculous healing miraculous restoration miraculous recovery in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth lord god almighty touch 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 by fire touch by fire and heal and repair and restore god men can go in and cut and chop and change and try to fix but god when you go in it is as perfect as when we were born and so lord i thank you that every person that is sick, every person that is hurt, every person that has had any kind of operation, any kind of cut, any kind of wound, any kind of, whether, whether it be spiritual in the soul or natural on the body, Lord, we ask that you will perform surgery this morning and heal, deliver, set free, and make whole your people in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We speak to our brother Mark Williams. <clears throat> Father, he's been having a nerve issue that has been uh, very troubling oh god almighty because it, it is uncertain in how it acts it is but we declare that it is a demon and so you demon attacking mark's nerve we command you right now come out out of his leg out of his leg right now in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth uproot and go uproot and go now leave the man of god alone in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father we just lift up this morning all of the nations of the world that have uh, active or inactive volcanoes father we come against every volcanic eruption lord god almighty with, with covid 19 erupting as a volcano across the world we don't need we can't manage any kind of literal volcanic er activity or volcanic eruption and so father god we ask you this morning to be merciful upon us oh god and save us from volcanic eruptions in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we thank you lord god almighty that you have put back the lid on the volcanoes that were planning to erupt and has calmed the volcano the, the lava cause it to cool down in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah lord we lift up alicia coley this morning we lift up alicia coley and we say father have mercy on alicia coley oh god almighty as she go into surgery we thank you lord that when they go in 
Father, if they still have to, I pray that they will not see the same things that they saw when they determined that they needed to have surgery. Lord, we speak your peace. We speak your miracle in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, what you gave to Peter when he said to the man at the gate, Temple Beautiful, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I unto you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Alicia Coley, we command you to rise up and walk. Rise up and be strong. Rise up and be healed. Rise up and be restored now in the mighty name, the matchless name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth who has all authority and in the power of the Holy Spirit hallelujah who has all power in the name of Jesus cover your daughter O Lord God Almighty father we come to you with a vexing but an issue that you know an issue that you have control over an issue that you knew before we were formed in our mother's womb would be Lord God Almighty because the church has been so silent has been so lukewarm has been so downcast, has been so ineffective. <clears throat> Witches and warlocks, witchcraft workers, some gomas, demonic stimulators have become prevalent in our society. But this morning, O oh gracious God Almighty, we call upon you. We call upon you, God Almighty, every demonic secret society. Lord God, when a nation, when a nation like Jamaica, whose God is the Lord Jesus Christ, who has more churches per square mile, when a nation like Jamaica, O oh God Almighty, whose national anthem says, Eternal Father, bless our land, guard us with thy mighty hand, keep us free from evil powers, and be our light through countless hours. Our national anthem asks you, O oh God Almighty, to give to our leaders true wisdom from above father it seems as if the wisdom has poured down as we have requested but they have dodged it they have been in the building when they should have been outside grabbing it and so god almighty the ignorance of our leaders have come to the fore there is a celebration being planned for a witchcraft worker a obia man father god almighty do not curse this nation as a result of our ignorant leaders. Do not curse this nation as a result of the mistakes of our leaders, O oh God. Lord, the, the nation of Israel came under judgment because David censored, counted the people. The nation of Israel came under judgment because Saul killed off some people from another nation that Joshua had given permission to stay and to live among them. God Almighty, we know the dangers. We know the dangers of the mistake of leaders. And while we cannot curse them, while we cannot say anything bad about them, while we have to continue to pray for them, God, we cry out to you for mercy. With tears in our hearts, we cry for mercy. God Almighty, let your lightning and thunder come down on every capo celebration. God Almighty, as they seek to evoke demonic spirits over this country to cause more mayhem, more destruction, more murder. Lord God Almighty, as you heard the children of Israel cry out, as you heard them for 400 years, God, they cried out. Lord, let your lightning and thunder, let your eviction notice be given to to every celebration for Kiapo, let every demonic assignment, God Almighty, we stand on your word and we declare that the righteous of this nation shall no longer be silenced. The righteous of this nation shall no longer be quiet. And we say, God, every Kiapo celebration, send fire and thunder, Lord God Almighty, God of Elijah, God of Elijah, send fire and thunder. This is not a labor right or PMP conversation this morning. God, this is righteousness against unrighteousness. Lord God, if you are still in charge and if you still love this country, we ask God Almighty that you will destroy. Lord, let the altar of Baal be fired this morning in the name of Jesus. Every altar, do not... They, they, 
the place where the so-called heroes are buried lord god almighty national heroes park let it be like the altar of Baal that is that you sent fire on behalf of elijah to burn up the wood the sacrifice and the water that was there god let the national heroes park be, receive fire and let no capo celebration we don't agree and we destroy it we cancel it and we tear it down and anyone who wants to go or be a part of or organize it lord god let your judgment let your judgment let your judgment fall upon them in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth this nation belongs to you lord and if you let demonic forces take it over then you're sending a message to us that we have no protection no covering and that our cries have fallen on deaf ears. Father, you said you will never leave us or forsake us. You'll never leave us or forsake us. Lord, we will not stand idly by and let nobody, not the prime minister or any other member of government, evoke and release demonic spirits in this nation. And so God Almighty, by every single Jamaican and every lover of Jamaica and every family member of Jamaica that is extended in these medium right now, God Almighty, I ask you by agreement with every person that is hearing my voice, cancel that sentence celebration destroy that thought in their minds send fire from heaven oh god lord if i elijah you destroyed 850 prophets of baal lord let the prophets of capo let the prophets of this government that seeks to evoke witchcraft they have been trying to legalize witchcraft and obia god almighty if you let this happen you have turned your back on jamaica and you have never turned your back on your people and so gracious wonderful awesome God, simply like me who have no power, no office, no authority, we come in agreement as your sons, your children, your, our authority is in you, our power is in you, in your Holy Spirit, and we cry out to you sincerely this morning, God, let not this nation be known as one who celebrates and worships at the altar of any Obia man witch or warlock in the name of jesus this country shall not plummet into this level of degradation and destruction no curse shall be released upon this nation father every curse of capo every curse of evoking evil spirits lord samuel was upset when saul caused the divinator to raise him up from the dead and you allowed it Father, we are asking you to let Chapo burn in hell where he belongs if he's there. Let him not come back onto this soil. He has done enough damage. Lord, I know some people are going to be upset at this prayer this morning, but I don't care. It is by your spirit for your glory. We will not embrace any witchcraft. We will not be a party as a nation, as a government to anything that is supporting witchcraft or obia men, no matter live or dead. We cancel that by fire. We wage war against it like Elijah. Lord God of Elijah, you are the one that we're evoking this morning. Not Elisha, not, not, not Samuel, but the God of Elijah. Come God, war, come God, war, come God, war. God of thunder, God of lightning, God of fire. We're calling upon you this morning to come to our rescue in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because the, the, the people of this country in the natural can do nothing about these celebrations and these evoking of these demonic spirits. But you can. By your angelic host, by your Holy Spirit, you can. By your hand of power, your righteous right hand. Lord God Almighty, in Deuteronomy 9, when the children of Israel were to go into the promised land and the, the giants were there, Lord, you said in your word that you, you send the fire from around your throne into the promised land to defeat the enemies of the children of Israel. This morning, we are calling upon you as your adopted children of Israel. We're calling on you to send fire send fire god send fire send fire to whomever the minister you know the minister god i will not call the minister's name but you know the minister that is pushing this that is organizing this lord visit that person like you visited abimelech visit them like you visited pharaoh visit god visit god we are asking you humbly to visit for the sake of a nation that you love 
visit for the sake of how many times the national anthem has been prayed as a prayer up to you visit god and let not this nation be cursed by the ignorance of those in leadership in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we ask for mercy mercy upon them mercy upon those who are in agreement with this celebration mercy oh god almighty mercy because they know not what they do and so we ask you lord visit god visit as they sleep even this morning visit them and say don't do that and if they choose to ignore you then let it be that their blood be on their own shoulders we can only pray for mercy we can only ask god almighty that you do not allow the innocent of this nation to suffer for the mistakes of the leaders that are in place we ask for mercy mercy for the leaders and mercy for the people who will be punished who will face the destruction for the actions of our leaders have mercy O god have mercy father have mercy lord have mercy and we thank you that it is so undone we cancel that celebration no cap of birthday who celebrates somebody's birthday that is dead the person is dead we celebrate the birthdays of the living who celebrates what how are you gonna celebrate you're gonna put roses on his tomb you must be calling up his spirit to dance and and and, and do things with his spirit no evoking of any demonic spirits around here we cancel that from our culture we cancel that from our nation Capo, stay where you are stay where you are in your grave where you belong your spirit shall not roam on this land we have the authority the lord jesus christ of nazareth told us he who is superior and sovereign he says that we have been given power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy that's what you said in your word lord and nothing shall by enemies hurt us lord if capo is evoked if capo is allowed to come up out of the earth from 111 year celebration we shall be hurt we shall be harmed as a nation and your word has already promised us that that shall not be so and so god we are not lukewarm we're not ignoring it we're not saying that it will not happen or we don't care or it cannot do anything to us because we are shielded by you we love our neighbor as ourselves. and so god we not only pray that this celebration be cancelled and destroyed but we pray god that all other people that are called by your name will recognize these sinister plots and begin to come in agreement and pray for the glory of your name to be upon this nation and to remove all shame in the name of jesus christ we take authority over every person every spirit and we say it shall not be so in the name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ amen hallelujah 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 yes people of god i saw a, um an ad someone sent to me about a celebration being planned led by a particular minister of government um for to celebrate capo who is capo who is capo how capo get governmental celebration are we serious in this time are we serious in this time of covid 19 and and crime and violence are we serious are we serious I'm, trust me i'm not emotional i'm not even angry i i'm not a, <laughs> believe me as i tell you i am not i'm just saying to you it's time for us we as the people of god the leaders of the church for too long have been silent we've been so tainted politics and political parties have infiltrated our our, our church system instead of the other way around the church is supposed to infiltrate government 
the church is supposed to have access like Moses had, Moses had access to Pharaoh's temple. If Moses was an unknown, if Moses didn't have power, if Moses didn't have spiritual access, he could not even gotten to the gate of Pharaoh's temple. But because he was born there, because he was established there, God knew and gave him access. Because we are born of the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we have been given access to God's house. We have been given access to the Prime Minister's house. Come on, his workhouse and in residence. We have access to go in by prayer, to go in by faith, and to change some things. And so we are saying, if we are the only ones, and I don't believe that we are, I would never be so bold or so proud to think that we are the only ones that know and are praying and recognize that something is wrong. Many great men and women of God are, across, are littered across this nation. The problem that we really have is that those that are influential, those that carry the crown or the gown of Moses, that are known across this nation, have in a lot of instances, and I say this humbly and at the risk of even being rebuked, have been infiltrated and their words have been taken away by political connections or aristocratic connections. And so we, we, we can't hear their voices except when they're talking on behalf of the system. But God doesn't need them. God doesn't need them. Come on. When Saul lost his voice, God raised up David. Come on. When Eli lost his voice, God raised up Samuel. Come on. And so be encouraged. Don't be discouraged by the voices that we don't hear. Say to God, God, here I am. I am your Samuel. I am your David. I am your Elisha. When God took Elijah, Elisha was there to do twice as much. And so let us not look or concern ourselves with the voices that we should hear. The famous voices, the famous apostles and prophets that we're not hearing. Let us ask God to let our voices be heard. Amen. Amen? You believe that? Yeah, man. Let our voices be heard if it's only in heaven. If we only can speak from inside of our homes on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok, on Arrow's Internet Radio, on YouTube, if that's the only place where we have a voice to be heard, let it be heard. We don't have to have be famous to have a voice. But we need a voice to be famous. Let's become famous by saying what God says and doing what God says. Amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Hallelujah. Great is the faithfulness of our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe that that was a powerful time of prayer and declaration and revelation of what is true. Let us continue to pray. I think that the, um, if I, if I, I read the, the, the thing, but I was so um, annoyed, not angry. I was so annoyed at the poster that I saw about this celebration that I didn't, I think it's supposed to be Thursday, 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 um, tomorrow, Thursday. The 9th is either tomorrow Thursday or next Thursday but even if it's tomorrow Thursday let's continue to pray let's continue to pray against the the, the ignorance because that's what it is it's just ignorance our, our political leaders um, they they were born here I believe and I want to confess that they love this country they would not want to deliberately uh, do anything to destroy it because they are the ones that are lording over it they're the ones that drive the nice vehicles and police protection and they get to, to 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 live like superheroes and if they destroy it then they won't get to do that anymore and live like that anymore so i know it's ignorance amen so i don't hold it against them satan has befuddled them satan has blinded their eyes satan has caused them to be like the pharisees that were that were looking at jesus but couldn't see him amen and so they're looking at destruction but they can't see it and so they're walking right into destruction and don't know and so we're the ones with the light we're the ones that have sight we are the ones that must make it right and so we're going to make it right through prayer so keep praying keep praying remember this capo celebration at national heroes park should not happen and if it does they will fail 
if they go through with a ceremony nothing will happen no demon will be evoked they will fail ask god to let the angels seal the earth with with with, with fire so that demon have to stay where he need to stay come on and we don't want to pray any bad prayer all right Marlon? no aggressive fire prayer towards the humans that are ignorant um, we, we're gonna do like 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 Stephen and say father forgive them for they know not what they do I know Marlon draw him sword already and ready to <laughs> to send fire but we 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 we, 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 we we're trying we're trying because I want to send fire too don't get me wrong but we can't amen our job is to like Stephen say father forgive them our job like Jesus to say Lord forgive them father forgive them for they know not what they do because that's truly what it is it's ignorance they don't know the destruction they don't know the death and mayhem that will come from evoking an evil spirit from the earth hallelujah amen praise God all right so um, we're still on the topic of encouragement and for a few minutes hallelujah we prayed extensively this morning and that took up a good amount of time and so but we still want to get in a few lines of encouragement from the word the logos word is important even as the rhema word comes amen hallelujah and so we were in colossians or we are in colossians chapter 2 and we stopped where uh we stopped at verse 5 where it said for though I am absent from you in body, I am present with you in spirit. And it is these kinds of things. Oh, man, I didn't even realize. Um, for though I am absent from you in body, so, 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 so on the demonic side, Kiapo is absent from Jamaica in body, but they want to bring him in spirit. They want to mimic Satan, Satan's plan. Come on, hear me, people of God. You got to learn how these things work. The Bible says we must not be ignorant of the devil's devices. So when Paul says, though I am absent from you in, in body, I am present with you in spirit. Yes, Paul was still alive. His body was still alive. But this is the principle, come on now, the principle on which they go to evoke these spirits. Because the person's body is absent from them, but they are able to tap in and bring forth the spirit, and the spirit brings destruction upon the land. And so Paul said it here, and now our system is trying to do the same thing, but to bring evil. Paul wanted to bring light and bright in the name of Jesus Christ. The, the, yeah. Um, and he said, and delight to see how orderly you are and how firm your faith in Christ is. And so while Paul's spirit wanted to, 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 to bless the people and to encourage them, Kapo's spirit does not want to do that. So we don't want his spirit anywhere around here. Amen. Hallelujah. So the word lines up with it as well verse 6 says so then just as you received christ jesus as lord continue to live in him rooted and built up in him strengthened in the faith as you were taught and overflowing with thankfulness and so I want to encourage you this morning that God is saying that what we prayed just now, how we prayed just now, is a result of our thankfulness, our strength, and our faith in who God is and what he's able to do. And so Paul says, stay rooted, come on, stay rooted and built up in Jesus, who is the author and finisher of our faith. And so I'm encouraging you this morning from the same word that as we stay persistent and consistent in declaring and decreeing over our house, over our children, over our finances, over our health, over our community, and over our nation, come on, that we will accomplish what needs to be accomplished because we will demonstrate strength and faith as we were taught and we will overflow with thankfulness as we demonstrate these things that Paul told the Colossians church to do. Amen. Verse 8 says, See to it that no one takes you captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy. That's what is happening in the world today. That's what is happening in the world today. In Canada, 
the brilliant little man called the president, the prime minister, is using captive words to captivate all of Canada and to say to Canada, oh Canada, we are for love, love of everyone. But God is not love. The things of God is not love. The Bible that God wrote through his inspired men and women of God are not about love. They're about hate. We are about love. They are not. That's what the, the Honorable Prime Minister, the duly elected and respected Prime Minister of Canada is saying that God is not love. He is. He is the epitome of love. And God is the epitome of hate. So he's calling God by extension. Extension. Come on. Watch my quotes. He's calling God by extension Satan. Because Satan is the God of hate. And he's saying, he, Trudeau, is love and God is hate because God's Bible, God's word is hate speech. Therefore, if you speak hate, the Bible says out of the abundance of the what? The heart. What speaks? The mouth speaks. And so if the word that came forth out of God's mouth is hate, then God is hate. That's basically, come on, the principle holds true. So he's saying he is love because he loves the community that God says, hey, that community, not right. Not right. But God doesn't hate them. God hates the actions that Satan has inspired the people of the world to in, in, engage in. God's, God hates uh, uh, adultery and fornication the same way that he hates any other sin. He hates homosexuality. The same way he doesn't hate the homosexual, he hates the homosexual action. The same way he hates adultery. Come on. So let's not try to, to make it seem like, oh, God is hate when he when he when he when he despises homosexuality, but he's not hate when he despises adultery or fornication. Are you serious? Are you are you smart? Are you brilliant? Do you even have a sane mind? And so, guys, we have to pray. Come on. This is not what the, 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 the topic is about, but we have to recognize the trick of the enemy. And we have to pray because that's what Paul is talking about. He's saying we must be rooted and built up in him, Christ Jesus. What Jesus says is what we say. So some of us who are clapping our hands before us and doing like this and saying, oh, we love them because Jesus loves them. And so, yeah, that is true. But what you are doing is falling for the philosophy of, 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 of ignorance and the philosophy of the devil when you don't cast out that demonic spirit that Jesus hates. So the church has been lulled into that philosophical position that, oh, um, God is love and we love them. And yes, that part is true. But where we get sucked in is that we keep them, we love them, and we draw them in with the demonic spirit. That is why they're passing a law that says you cannot um, minister to them, you cannot seek to counsel them, you cannot seek to deliver them from, from, from that spirit. Because they want you to love the people and the demon that is in them. And that will never happen on our watch. Fourth watch, I am not asking you to discriminate against any human being. Do not discriminate against any human being. Discriminate, go to war, draw your sword, send fire upon demons and dopey and devils. I give you permission by the word of God, by the will of God, by the purpose of God. Command that dopey to go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. But leave the human because God wants to fill that human space when that demon is disgraced and displaced. God wants to fill that human with his spirit so that they can be a good part of the human race. And the shame can leave their face. That's God's purpose. That's God's plan. So his plan is not for us to embrace sin and say, oh, God loves them. God does not love sin, but he loves the sinner. And he wants the sinner to be saved.
Amen. So we must be strengthened, rooted and grounded in Jesus by faith that we can cast out, bind, crump and paralyze. Sunday gone at, at, at service, a young lady gave her life to the Lord under the unction and the, and, the, and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. She gave her life to the Lord. And as we began to pray and to cut off some generational curses after, off of her as she, she, she gave her life to the Lord, some spirits started to get antsy like the demon in the, in, the, in the tomb that was chained to the tomb when Jesus came out of the boat. He started to get antsy and start to dance. Some seductive spirit start to carry on. And we couldn't deal with that at the moment. And so we just had to take authority and says, come on, we shut you down. No movement, no actions. We shut you down now. We bind you and lock you up. In the right time, we'll come get you. But right now is not the right time. So we shut that down. I'm telling you that we have authority. It's not pride. We didn't shut down because of our own strength. All we have is a little physical strength. And at my age now, I don't even have too much of that. So I have no strength. But it is the power of the Holy Ghost. It's the power that God has given us through our word by faith. As we are strengthened in him by faith. Come on. And so I'm harping on this line because we need to own this line. And we, we, we need to tell ourselves that we are strengthened in God. We are rooted and grounded in him. And nothing is impossible for us. Come on. See, um, Sister Sharon put up a scripture there, Ephesians 6, 12. Come on. Glory to God. Glory to God. And so we, we have the power to bind on earth what is already bound in heaven. To loose on earth what is loosed in heaven. And so as we bring her in, in a private space, because what was manifesting, if that manifests, it could have implications for, for how the service would have, would, have, would have ended. And so we need to bring her in privately and preserve her dignity and deliver her properly in, in, in a private setting. And so we don't just um, bring people into the kingdom or, um, or bring people into our lives and say, oh, we love you, we love you. But they're walking around the house releasing all kind of demonic spirits, whether it be drug abuse, whether it be sexual immorality, whether it be um, uh, 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 unnatural sexual tendencies, whatever it is, you do not want that spirit to be roaming in your space. You and that spirit, people of God, are not meant to coexist. Come on. I know it might not feel good to your heart right now. I know you might misunderstand some of you. Not all the mature ones will understand what I'm saying, that it is coming from God. I'm not spewing, spewing hate. I don't hate the people. I hate the devil. I hate the devil's work. I hate the sin. I hate what the enemy is doing to God's creations. That's what I hate. And that's according to word. And if word backs me up, See, Sister Denise, I think I see Sister Denise, yeah? Sister Denise is a word, and she's a wordsmith. She goes to a church that, hey, I love Pastor Carr. Word solid. Come on. And so I'm saying we must be rooted and grounded in Christ who is word. And it is word that we must speak. We hate sin, but we love the sinner. Because that's what God has said. Amen. Praise God. Can I get in another verse before we finish? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that's verse 8 that we must rather, um, we, uh, oh, our basic principles. Come on, let me read verse 8 again quickly. See to it that no one takes you captive. No one controls your mind through hollow and deceptive philosophy. Hollow means don't have no substance. Huh? As soon as it gets squeezed, it break up. But it look like it good hollow and deceptive philosophies oh you must love them because jesus says that we must love everyone hallelujah yes uh sister sharon i love how you're, you're, you're running the scriptures you're helping me out because i can't go into all of these scriptures in that kind of way because we, we, we're on a mission but i thank you for that sister sharon please god bless you check out those scriptures guys Hallelujah. And so he says, don't be captive. Don't be, 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 be mentally enslaved by these philosophies that says, oh, they are God's people too and all of these things. Yes, they are God's people. But what is in them, what is operating through them is not of God and it must go. It must not be in our presence, which depends on human traditions. Human traditions. 
see the Prime Minister and the President of the United States and, and even the Prime Minister of Jamaica in some instances wants to facilitate these traditions or the change of our normal traditions to facilitate the tradition of devils but it shall not happen on our watch it shall not happen on our watch because we look with the eyes of Jesus so it is on Jesus' watch through us that it will not happen remember I'm not preaching hate against people because you can only hate people you are entitled to hate the works of the devil and the devil but you are not entitled to hate people none at all so I'm not preaching hate I don't hate can only be to humans I don't hate any human amen praise God and the basic principles of this world this world want to establish principles by which we must live and operate we live and operate by the principles of the word of God amen rather than on Christ verse 9 last verse for this morning he says for in Christ all the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form and so if we are in Christ all the fullness of the deity the God the sovereign the superior God lives in Christ and guess where Christ lives guess now can you guess where Christ lives by his spirit Christ lives in us Christ did not support embrace encourage or keep as a friend any demon or devil none he back up and sent packing Satan himself when he came to him in the wilderness man shall not live by bread alone thou shalt worship the Lord God Almighty and him alone shall thou worship and he was talking to Satan he says you Satan shall worship the Lord God Almighty me Jesus Christ you shall bow at my feet and he says you shall not tempt the Lord so Jesus back up Satan and not to mention his friends not to mention his friends and his co-workers you know about the legions that he sent into the pigs you know about the man at the at the, the foot of Mount Transfiguration the young boy and the many many others you know of Mary Magdalene out of whom he cast seven devils come on and I could go on and on and on hallelujah sister pastor Sharon still uh, ruling our scriptures Romans 1 25 yes oh I love that one pastor Sharon I love that one Romans 1 25 excellent that's a great one too all of them are great but that one is a powerful one amen and so guys we have to stop being afraid that people might call you a hater or a spewer of hate stop being afraid Jesus was not afraid to defy the traditions and the philosophies of his time because it was not right it was not of him are we representatives of Christ or not are we carriers of his glory or not are we called by his name or not because if we are then we must walk in his footsteps walk in the shoe that he has left for us the shoe of righteousness holiness and truth so righteousness and holiness are our shoes and our waist our loins our everything is girded with the belt of truth let us walk in righteousness and holiness and declare from our innermost part the truth of God yes God is love but God's love is for mankind and he detests demons and devils amen so we detest what God detests David said God I hate what you hate and I love what you love come on that must be our doctrine as well our cry our heart our religion our life we love what God loves and hate what he hates in Jesus name amen let us pray father we just thank you for this morning we thank you for your love for your blessing for your revelation we thank you for answered prayers we thank you that every person every nation and everything that we have put before you this morning was not from flesh but from your spirit Lord if it is from your spirit then let it be so let it come to pass let it happen according to your will and purpose let your glory fall afresh upon us in us and through us according to your will and purpose touch every person oh God Almighty we roll we riled up 
some dokansness and some wasness and some business this morning. Oh God Almighty, let them not have any impact or effect on any person in this family. Let your angels stand guard round about every person that prayed and declared and decreed in their private space today. Lord, put a shield around us. Let your fire be around us and around our family, around our children. Let a fire be around our, our Facebook accounts, our Instagram accounts, our TikTok accounts. Let your fire be around Arrow's internet radio, O God Almighty, to protect from any human or demonic attacks. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, cover our lives, O God. Let us know that you are with us and let your will be done in and through our lives. Go with us today and keep us from every plan, scheme, and trap of the enemy. And we'll be faithful to give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo! Why, Pastor Sharon, you, you, you're on a roll this morning. Psalm 139, 21. Excellent. That's, a, that's another good one. Praise God. Guys, if you're seeing these scriptures, please write them down. Pastor Sharon is working as, as my secretary this morning. Praise God. Pastor Marsha is doing some long hours with this construction that we're doing for, for, for the place um, of, of worship for the Lord. It takes its toll on the body. And so Pastor Marsha is taking some duly deserved, yeah, me tell, me tell you, deserved rest. She's a trooper. I don't know what I would do without her. Hallelujah. Every time I talk about her, I feel like when I talk about Jesus, I feel like a heaviness in my chest and it's not a bad heaviness. heaviness. Hallelujah. She's special to me, a gift from God. And I love her so much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, man. Love her, man. So she's getting a chance to take a little extra rest and lie down this morning. Praise God. She deserve it because she work hard. Amen. Hallelujah. So Pastor Sharon is, is, is operating as my assistant this morning. So make sure you check those scriptures. Go through, scroll through, and write down those scriptures and check them because we need to step up. God is calling us to step up and to step out in this season. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory to God. So look for Sharon Rose and write those, those, those scriptures. Romans 125, Psalm 139. Um, just now I saw it. Hallelujah. I'm not remembering the verse. Psalm 139. Where is it? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah, it's about to come up now. Hallelujah. Yep. Romans 125. Yeah, I got that one. Lord Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. Anyway, yeah, just 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 scroll through and find these. These are powerful scriptures. Ah, yes, Psalm 139, verse 21, and some others that she had put up uh, before Ephesians 6. Um, I think it was, yeah. Um, uh, so so please just check out these scriptures, read them, and be encouraged by them, and just um and just focus on them. Amen. Hallelujah. Lift your communion as we Call upon the holy and righteous God to deliver us from everything that the enemy desires to place in our system, in our minds, the vain and fickle philosophies and cultural systems that they want to infiltrate and cause a change in our, in our, in our true gospel. It shall not be so. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we ask that you will sanctify and consecrate these emblems even now. Bless them to our bodies that we will be strengthened. We will have new life and life more abundantly. Do what only you can do, O God Almighty, through your body and through your blood. May we become like you as we eat by faith your body and your blood. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And so as the Lord Jesus Christ took the bread, he blessed it and broke it. He gave it to the disciples and he said, Eat, this is my body broken for you. As often as you eat of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Eat all of it in faith, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Likewise, he took the cup. He blessed it. He took a sup and he said, drink. This is my blood, the blood of the new covenant. As often as you drink of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Drink ye all of it in faith, in Jesus' mighty name.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much again for joining us this morning. So many people struggled to wake up this morning, but so many people did. And we give God thanks. We pray that the things that the enemy would want to do to, to, to block God's word, God's will, and God's purpose from going forward. The things that he would want to do to contaminate what is being said and let it be misunderstood or misconstrued as something other than what God wants to say. We cancel that and we declare that it is well. God's word, God's will, and God's purpose must go forth according to his will. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Go forth, family, and have an amazing day God's way. For our God has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day his way in Jesus' name. Remember, Jesus love you and we love the whole owner too. God bless you. God bless you. If you are able, remember tonight I will be, Pastor Marsh and I will be on Arrow's internet radio like two weeks ago um, looking at the, the good things from the end times. The good things that will come from the end times. Lots of good things will come even in the midst of trials and tribulations and even Armageddon and even the rapture. So join us tonight to hear what has to say, what we have to say about the good things that will come in the end times. 9 30, uh, 9 o'clock to 10 30. Hallelujah. If you can, the Arrows Internet Radio, please join and be a part of what God is doing. Have an amazing day. Love you guys. Jesus love you. And we love the whole owner too. From Pastor Marsha. This is Rowan Wade saying, mm, Love, peace. Fist to the man, them. Kisses to the ladies. <laughs> Bless you guys. Love you all so much. Have a great one. Bye.